Firstly, we'll make the filling. In a medium bowl, we will combine 1 fourth cup dried mung beans with 1 cup of water. We'll cover it with plastic wrap and soak overnight. And then we drain the mung beans. We transfer it to a small pan and with the 4 cups of water, add 1 fourth cup of brown sugar, stir, cover. We'll bring to a boil over medium heat for 1 hour until soft enough to mash. And then we'll transfer the mung bean to a bowl, cover with a plastic wrap, and then using a flat bottom in glass, Pressing it directly onto the surface of the paste to prevent the steam from forming. Refrigerate until ready to use. Then we'll proceed to making the dough. In a small saucepan, put 160 ml water with 1 fourth cup of white sugar until the sugar dissolves and water is boiling. In a larger bowl with 1 cup of rice, we'll use a spatula to create a small well in the center. We'll pour the sugar syrup into the well and stir for 5 minutes until the mixture is well combined. No lumps and then we'll add another 1 cup. This will keep the round shape of the sesame balls when, even when it's not eaten right away. It will not deflate or become flat. We will mix this again. Then we will add 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil. We will mix this again and leave it for 15 minutes. And then we will lightly dust the clean surface with glutinous rice flour. We'll turn the dough out. We will divide the dough into 8 pieces. And then we'll roll the small balls, then flatten into this. And then we will place 1 teaspoon of mung bean filling in the center of a piece of dough. Fold in the edges to cover the filling. Then roll into a ball. In another bowl with half cup of glutinous rice, pour half cup of warm water and mix. We will then dip the glutinous ball in the edible glue mixture. Then roll the ball in the sesame seed the dough is covered. And then, we will roll it again on our palm to sure that the sesame seeds stick onto the dough. We will repeat this with the remaining ingredients. In a large pot, we will heat 7 cups of vegetable oil or 1.5 liter. And then, we will fry the sesame ball for 10 minutes, stirring frequently until light golden brown. We'll transfer it to a wire rack, set over a baking sheet to drain, and let cool for 15 minutes before serving. Now for a taste test. Mmm! That's it! Our sesame seed dessert balls, otherwise known as Thank you for watching. Enjoy! See you next time. Bye!